is Dr. Anamika Joshi. I'm an oculoplasty surgeon. That means I'm an eye plastic surgeon. I practice in Hyderabad. And today I'm going to talk about a very common uh, topic or a very common condition that I see in my OPD. Uh, that is chelation or sty, as we commonly call it. So sty or a swelling, I'm sure it must have happened to almost everybody in some point in their life. So what exactly is this sty? Why does it occur? How do we treat it? And what are the different measures how you can prevent it? So often children or even adults of different age groups come with a complaint of recurrent multiple styes. First it occurs here, then occurs, it keeps recurring, keeps recurring and it's very irritating. Cosmetically also that bump uh, near the eye doesn't look nice. Sometimes it gets infected also causing various other problems. So basically what is chelation or sty? That there are various multiple glands in the uh, eyelid. They are usually vertical glands. One of the common glands that get affected are called mebobian glands. Don't go into the name of it, but basically these glands, their function is to uh, release their secretions out, which will stabilize our tear film. Now, if these secretions, which are, which are supposed to come out through these tiny holes that are present in the eyelid margin, and if these secretions are not able to come out, then what happens is they get collected inside and that gives rise to such swellings which we call as chelations or styes. So now this can happen due to various reasons like sometimes some hormonal changes which are causing uh, increased thickening of these secretions or sometimes it can be like too much of dust exposure which blocks the openings of the uh, opening of these glands uh, sometimes it can be like, you know, no real reason. Sometimes some uncorrected refractive error uh, may lead to repeated squeezing and uh, rubbing of eyes. Then diabetes sometimes can cause some changes. So a lot of uh, uh, factors are there, but usually there is not a very clear reason that we can spot. And that's how these secretions just get collected and they uh, give rise to these swellings. So what is the treatment for this condition? First is uh, you should do warm compresses. Now warm compresses meaning you take some hot water, dip a thick towel in it, squeeze the towel and put it over your eyes for 15 minutes. Do this at least two times a day continuously for one month or two months. And then what will happen because of that is when you're doing it because of the heat, those collected secretions, they will melt and they will egress out easily. So that's how you will, most of the times, if you do it properly, 60-70% of patients without anything else, it will resolve. So that is the first thing. Second thing what we do is we usually give an antibiotic eye ointment that is to prevent infection in those collected secretions. Anything, wherever, any part where, you know, there is collection of secretion, it acts as a nidus of infection and that's why we give antibiotic ointment. Sometimes we may, we may add a little bit of anti-inflammatory drug also in it. That's why it is important that if uh, you should show to your eye doctor, especially an oculoplasty surgeon, if you're having such bumps. Uh, apart from that, uh, taking omega-3 supplements, which are specifically designed for these glands, uh, will be helpful because they'll increase or they'll improvise the function of these glands. Apart from that, even if you do all this, sometimes they can still recur and they can keep happening here and there. But you need to be patient and you don't need to worry because it is usually not something very serious and usually doesn't spread. The infection usually doesn't spread. In very severe cases, you know, there can be infection and it can get really big, filled with pus. In those cases, we sometimes need to drain it. Now, after these conservative measures, uh, like warm compresses and antibiotic ointment, if it doesn't go, then we do a simple procedure. Uh, we kind of evert the eyelid and onto the inner part of the eyelid, we make a small cut in that gland and we just scoop out these secretions. So outside you won't have any cut, from, from inside we have just opened the gland and taken out those secretions. So that procedure is called incision and curettage. It is usually like an OPD procedure or a minor OT procedure. So if you're having it since a very long time and it's not going with warm compresses or with ointment or with other medications, then we can just do the simple procedure. Another treatment method uh, which 
recently I have been using in my patients and it has worked very well is the intralesional um, steroid injection. Now don't worry, this is just a small uh, local injection of steroid which really helps because that reduces all the inflammation that was the main cause. So if it is reddish, your chalasian, if it's marginal, it's not really excisable, then this works very well. It's an OPD procedure, within two minutes we give it and within one week we see very good results in many patients. So these are the different treatment modalities. Uh, sometimes to improve lipid gland, I mean the bimobin gland function, there is also one device, Lippy Flow, where we give heat to the glands and improve their function. Uh, that is very rarely used for this condition. So if you have uh, styrochelasian, you can visit your nearest oculoplasty surgeon or you can contact us. If you're not in Hyderabad, we are available for video consultation. You can send us a WhatsApp message on this number flash below. Have a good day. Thank you.